What's up, the brick pile? Welcome back to another coffee time with Clicking and Bricking. I'm your host with Clicking Cliff, and then when your, your other host is a glorious, luxurious beauty pie. Uh, the younger, not older, the brickable cow. How are you doing? <laughs> you can tell this is totally scripted. <laughs> it ain't scripted. <laughs> I know that's what I mean. We could totally tell it is. <laughs> I mean that, that that was on top of my head. I see that <laughs> pulling it right at you, but <laughs> that, 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 that's why we had to restart it because I came up with the good morning break pile as I was getting ready to say something else, and we had yeah. to change it up. <laughs> that's why I'm I said, okay. start over. <laughs> I'm doing okay today, Cliffy. How are you? I'm doing well. Has been busy around this household. Daughter's birthday, getting all that stuff done. Trying to keep up with the channels and all that good graces, good golly stuff, and <coughs> and, and yeah, I, I I I've been enjoying YouTube a little bit more here lately. I've been doing other. I, I started, like I said last week, I started a new thing. I'm in, you know, I'm still doing my castle updates, but I'm doing just a little bit of stuff as I add to my layout, just video of that. And I think and it's been doing good so far, so I ain't complaining. Yeah. Um, but yeah. How how was your week? Seems like they all blend together. Um it's kind of weird because so we had to let a guy go. And now it's just me, another kid, and my boss trying to take care of a crap ton of work. Um, and it, uh, I mean, that last day, the last week was a little rougher because <clears throat> we're trying to figure out a new flow. But this week is kind of, yeah, I guess it eased up a little bit. But uh, we're just kind of, you know, we're finally getting into our groove and and going. But it is. You start to notice, and actually, the kid that we let go, he wasn't pulling his end, and you could really tell. I mean, not just with the work that he was doing, but after we let him go, you just full-fledged realized that he was not doing his end of anything, and it just kind of was like, oh, it's a little bit of a relief, you know, you don't have to worry about him anymore, and and so on you just do it so but uh work has gotten it seems to be a little bit easier in my brain but as to my physical body i don't think I think too much it is um you should be there long enough where you're kind of getting used to it by now i would think yeah yeah i mean i've done it most of my life now so i i'm used to it i'm just tired all the time well, my boss goes, 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 goes. We don't take breaks. We don't take lunch. We we don't sit there in the truck for five, ten minutes. We we show up at your house and we're in and out like we go. Well, that, that is part of what you call it. I've grown, I guess, being an adult working life. You, you do work, 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 work. You don't take. He is not. OK, time. but you still need breaks. <laughs> you, you take a break when you go to sleep at night. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's your break. Well, that's not long enough break. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, because I wake up every morning, my body hurts telling me, oh, you're back to life now. <laughs> well, well, I know when I was growing up, and, and and this wasn't even a job. This was just working out outside with my dad on, on, on the land. We'd yeah. get up at 6 o'clock, be out there working until sun goes down, and and really have enough time to go in, take a shower, eat, and you're too day tired to do anything else. You go to sleep and you do it all again the next day. So I, yeah. I, I've been there. It, it's not fun, but at least it keep, keeps you out of trouble. Yeah, yeah it does. And is making it some money. Stuff. It really does. It teaches you, you know, values and morals. And you're right. It, keep, it keeps you out of trouble. It really does. It soaks up all that extra time that you could be getting devious shit. Sorry, things. Uh, and uh, that'd be a dollar to the sword cup. 
<laughs> you should, you should. Oh, I tell you what I've been doing, Cliffy. I don't think I've told you personally yet. Uh, I've been waiting to tell you personally. I have downloaded every single one of these coffee times that I have in my playlist. And for the last two and a half days of work, uh, I've listened to them straight. I have listened to that's you, 20, you, I'm on 22. I'm on episode 22. Are you like, going for punishment or something? No, but it's kind of nice. We we do pretty good at this, dude. I'm telling you. I don't like, know. I, I, when I sit in the chat on Thursday mornings, I keep the volume down. I don't even turn it up. I hate hearing my own voice. I do too. And and, and try to imagine listening to yourself for eight nine hours a day no, in your I in your I, own head on top of all, on top of all the other dot, thoughts. <laughs> I would I would not do it when I'm on Thursday. I'm not even listening to this. I have it on mute. <laughs> I got music playing in the background. And I'm just going off the chat. That's funny. But you, so I downloaded everything and I've been listening to them and it kind of gives me a refresher as to where we've, we, where we've come and kind of what we're doing with it. But well, I want to report yeah. back. I want to report it is due next week. So yeah, that ain't happening. Okay. So points. Let me know 12, how far we came. 12 page, 35 paragraph. Yeah. I got you. 5,000 words. Yeah. 5,000 plus word. Yeah. Um, but no, so <clears throat> I've actually realized that we're, we're, we tend to throw in a, you know, a few good jokes. I'm sitting there laughing sometimes and it's mm. funny cause I had noise canceling headphones on. So I'll have people in the truck with me or, or I'll be there mowing and you'll just see me laugh, just crack up laughing. And my boss looks at me with this like dumbfounded look, like, what are you listening to? And so I told him that I listened to myself, and he thought I was crazy. <laughs> what? Well, I'm starting to believe he's right. But I really do. I, I have found a a new love and appreciation for what we do. I like coming and talking with you for an hour <clears throat> every week and just letting it go, just kicking back and and doing what we do. It It is a good refresher when you go back and you're like, wow, we talked about all that. I remember I got to the point where we had the, the electrical out, and you had to... Baby, I'm busy. Please give me one second. Um, I see you found it. Thank you. Um, 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 I lost my train of thought. Yep. <laughs> wow. That was a good story, Cal. Tell us another one. Yeah. You don't want to hear another one. I've been having some issues talking, with my health. You were, you were talk you were talking about how far we become. Yeah. So, and I think I think what I should do is start going back and clipping some of those funnier moments, and that way you all get to just to to relive them a little bit. But wait a minute, you actually going to post them? I think I might. I might. I do have a little bit of homework. But it's quite a bit of what? We're going busy, I guess. Okay. You know where this happened. Yeah. Oh, sorry, we had some kind of a malfunction going on here, an electrical thing. I don't know what just happened, but we'll come back. We're still here. Are we still here? <laughs> we're still, we are still here. We're, like, still the, we're, we're like the Energizer Bunny. We just keep going. Um, I think I know what I was talking about. Um. I was going to clip some of those funnier clips and try to post them. How do you do that? I've seen you sent me some. You do that off your phone or the computer? I do that off my phone. And, and okay. I tell you what, I don't post it on YouTube. It's made into a YouTube short. Mm -hmm. So you have to actually make a short. You go down to the to your, to your to the live stream. You'll hit remix and you can make a short. I'll just make okay. a short. Uh, I'll find what I want to clip and or take and I process it you can do different layouts a lot of times it won't let you do a bunch of layouts because it's just in one screen so I, I try to get it all in at least the one that was talking or doing it at the time and uh i'll make it a short and i'll just put w or just you know put it you know this is for instagram upload it, it it'll upload it private so it won't go out on your youtube channel then you go into your youtube studio and uh Download it to your device and then delete it off of YouTube. Then I just download it up on you know on the on the grams. Jeez, quite a bit of work. 
Well, it, it, it takes about five seconds to do. It ain't really that. It ain't that difficult. It's just a lot of button pushing. That's about it. Yeah, I might try it out on a few of them from one of the older episodes and see kind of where it goes from there. No. But it'll, it, you will have to deal with it'll say YouTube shorts on the screen floating around. But Yeah, I see that. But still, it's still pretty cool. <laughs> you sent me the one. Seth, he took his shirt off on the stream. I didn't realize that. <laughs> Well, he, he, after his stream, I, uh, he goes, I took my shirt off. Nobody noticed. Nobody. nobody. <laughs> I said, well, okay, I, I, I get that. But I was I was watching a, I was watching a game, you know, my, <laughs> while we were streaming. But I was watching a football game, and I didn't notice. I, I, was, I had my – everybody was covered up with the football game, and I saw my chat. So I could read, look over there, read the chat. Yeah. conversation with you all, but so was watching my game. It was just a hangout stream. It was nothing important, but uh, but uh, yeah, we. I, and I went back and found it. I said, "I'm going to clip that." I told Seth, "I'm don't don't." That's don't funny. Lie. It's going to be on Instagram. <laughs> That's funny. It was it was no harm, no foul. I mean, he was no. I mean. That's what I like about Seth, man. His just come. He's a natural. He doesn't even exactly. have to try. Exactly, he just comes it. naturally. It, it just comes naturally, and he, he thinks he's boring. He's not. Definitely not boring. He's a I don't great guy. He's a great guy, and he's comical, and he does. He just does silly things that just make you chuckle. That's why I really wish he'd take the bait and just be part. Of the clicking and breaking team as a host, but no pressure out there, Seth. He wants to be the producer. All right, now he's just the producer. Um, but yeah. no, he sees that all y'all put through uh, with me trying to be uh, upgraded through the system, and he doesn't want to be upgraded. You see, Cal, Cal, he's 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 upgraded. <laughs> y'all put me through a lot, okay. <laughs> And we we're not done yet. I mean, one of these things, yeah. one of these times, we think you will finally learn. But until then, <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm kidding with you, buddy. Um, no, it's been fun. Like I said, this whole experience. Um, I was I, I'll be honest with you, Cal. And mm -hmm. and since we've been doing this over well over a year now, mm -hmm. When we, me and you first got together to do this, I, I, I wasn't really sure where this was going to go. Yeah. Um, I was really unsure if clicking and bricking was even going to be a thing after, you know, when Yeti, when Yeti left, clicking yeah. and bricking part of it. I really didn't think, I, I, I was like, well, I guess clicking and bricking's done. Uh, uh, but then, you know, you wanted to keep it going. I go, all right, well, we'll give you a chance, Cal. You know, we'll see what the, we, we'll see what we do. Mm -hmm. And at first, we were shaky. We we didn't, I mean, we didn't really know what we were doing there for a while. We were just streaming and, 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 do, and just going as we go. But now we've been doing it for a while. We, I think the, our, was it our, Main show on Sunday night has actually been doing pretty well. Nice. And and then we wanted to add this coffee time because so I wanted you to. I don't know how to. I don't know what to say. Take, other take than, part in, uh, uh, in. I wanted you to reap some of the reward too. Uh, no, I don't know a, about that. On your, on, on your channel, you know, getting get getting you coffee time. Put that on your channel. So well, you know, I see it different. I see it more as me taking part on my end, you know, trying to, because because now we divided it up. We both have a segment on each channel, so I feel like I'm definitely helping you. You see? Well, that's that's what I'm saying. I mean, before we just kept it on one channel, mm -hmm. and 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 we tried switching Sunday nights back and forth. That didn't really work. It, what what me and Yay was trying to do one week, I do. Clicking and breaking. One week he does coffee time. The next week I do coffee time on my channel. The next week was clicking and breaking on his channel. Mm -hmm. It got real confusing for everybody fast. So then we decided to stream both channels when we found out we could do that. And that got confusing. And then we went and made 
a whole new click and breaking channel, which is no longer there. But that was it was it was hard to keep up with two channels. Yeah. So we went back and put it back on mine. And when we talked coffee time, I said, no, we'll just, you know what? We'll kind of do the same thing, but we're going to just keep coffee, coffee time on your channel. That way people know where to go every week. Yeah. Coffee time is the Brickable Cows channel. Clicking and Breaking is my channel. And we can kind of divide it. And, and it's, I mean, it's not really divide. I mean, we're still working as a team on both sides. Mm-hmm. I'm clicking and breaking you mean just you're splitting the workload. Mm-hmm. You know, we're just splitting the, well, not really the workload because it's the same workload no matter what channel it's on. Okay, good point. <laughs> it, it was just to give you something on your channel that that be a regular and, and you, like you're enjoying now. The coffee time when you're w- w- listening to it work and stuff. It's just I think it, it works a lot better this way. But anyway, back to what I was saying, we've gone we came a long way. We came sure up, and I, think, I think our show or our two shows, the podcast that we're doing right now and our live stream on Sunday nights, they're doing good. I mean, for the, the length and the time that's in, the, you know, an hour, the numbers are good. It's a, the numbers are supporting it. Yeah. And yet, so we're, we're talking about making a little bit longer on clicking and breaking. So, I mean, as long as the numbers are there, I have no problem doing it, and people showing up and enjoying it is the main thing. Yeah, totally. Um, like I said, it wasn't for the break pile, we wouldn't be doing this at all. Um, and somebody could be a magic word in the chat, you know. If if the stream start losing steam, they can put, a, hey, you know, it's time to go or something like that, and we can end it. You know? You're out of here. <laughs> but... Anyway, there's, you know, uh, that kind of stuff is in, open in the suggestion box. So make sure you all got suggestions. Put it in the comments. Mm-hmm. Now, Cal's going to keep up with it since this is on his channel on the, on the coffee time. But he's going to have to inform me if there's any comments a lot of times. Yeah. But you go ahead and leave it in the comments where your suggestions is. Some people, uh, I've heard both ways since I talked about it, Cal. There's some people say, I think an hour is enough time because, you know, the guests, they may not want to stay over an hour. Yeah. And But then I hear other people say, yeah, I do two hours. And a lot of times I get two hours ain't that long. I mean, for a show. Yeah, some, some shows fly through two hours almost. Yeah, so, I mean, but, but you know, if, 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 and if the person has to leave, we can end it when – they have to leave, you know. They say, "Well, I can only be here for an hour." Well, that's fine. We, we'll, we'll, we'll end with you for an hour, and if we feel like the show's going on too good, we'll just keep going. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. But, but I'm wanting to, to find a happy medium. You know, like last week, what we went only went an hour and a half, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, a little over an hour. Yeah. So I mean, we're Almost. not, we're not. We're not going. We're not here to bore everybody to, to sleep. We want to be entertaining. And if some runs out of steam, yeah, there's no fun. We, we might as well just kill it. But if we're, if we're having a good stream and there's comments flying, we're, we're going. So I don't. Know, that's that's what I feel about it. You may feel a different way. No, I think we're doing okay. I think I think so too, and, I, and like I said, uh, <clears throat> you can tell by how when you stream. If you ever streamed, you you can kind of tell when the stream's running out of steam. Yeah. So, and, you know, there is some nights mm-hmm. better than others. I don't, we, I think hanging out, stream, the numbers ain't up because half of the people is on the stream with us. But, That's true. <laughs> so I mean, uh, it's okay. But like I said, this should never be about the numbers in the first place. It should be about the people who show up and have fun. And that's the most important thing. And I, and I totally, get, yeah, I can stand behind that. And I don't care. If we only had two views. As long as those two views had fun, that's all that matters. The only numbers I care about is the numbers on my paycheck every week. True. 
That, that, that is true. <laughs> so, but anyway, enough about that. I, I, like, I, at the end of the day, I'm happy where this is going. I think it's been what been improved quite a bit. So, yeah, you still. Now, now, as long as I can get you to post on Instagram, that, that you know what I was going to tell you something. Um, I have figured out this little schedule type thing on my phone. Okay, so I can do that off my phone and tablet. So that means that the tablet's logged in as clicking a brick, and that means I can start scheduling stuff. Sweet. But I haven't been able to do. Do they not allow that for the laptop? I can't. I, I can't do so. I, I've never done it on a computer, so I that don't is know. so weird. Um, I think Instagram's more of a phone app. Than it, it seems to be that way. It really does. I see. It. It seems to me that they try to keep everything they do towards an app. You know. I think so. I think that's what it is. Um. So what else? Uh, there's something else I was gonna bring up. But so yes, I can. I can start scheduling stuff, and when I'm too busy, it'll be there. It'll pop up, and well, it, it would be okay if I had the way to get on the account. I'd help you, but you're the one, you're the one with the keys to that engine. So there's, I mean, so that, oh, that engine this, page requires the brickable cow to do it. Would this be a bad time to tell you that I don't actually remember the password to get back into it? So we were going to make a new password when that time goes. <laughs> Do you know the email? Yeah, I got the email. You, 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 you can recover the password. Okay. Well, hopefully I got the email. <laughs> you know, I'm going to tell you like I tell my daughter and I tell my wife. You write it down. <laughs> You can't remember. Just write it down on the tablet. You have a Lego notebook. You said you told me you did I it one do, time. but it's Lego, and I don't want to sharpen my Lego pencil, and I don't want to write in my Lego notebook. <laughs> Does it not have a cardboard back? I don't know. I ain't opened it in a while. Oh, my goodness. I think it, it does, actually. Yeah, it's got a cardboard. I have, I have a Lego notebook myself, and on the back – of the that pa that brown paper, that brown cardboard, I write yeah. down my email that I use on my social media and the passwords to each one I do, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. Each one I have written down on what what it is. Okay. So I, that way, if I ever had to get a new device, I could always go to that thing and find and and get logged back into it. That's true. That's smart. Well, uh, sure. <laughs> I don't know. Um, no, no. And when you get a new, if you have to get a new notebook, you just have to transfer that numbers to the new one. But I don't know, man. Uh, I, I, I'm staying off Facebook. I don't know. This is the second time my wife's account got hacked, and my daughter's account got hacked the other day. This is horrible over there. How does it? I mean, I just don't understand how people can get. I mean, I don't understand why Facebook has a problem and in, in Instagram don't really. Every once in a while, you'll see a case come up through the two years I've been on Instagram. And same with YouTube. I never see anybody take my YouTube account over yet. Yeah, I have yet to have someone take over my account. But, you know, knock on wood. Don't don't let that happen, but sound Hey, do I sound different? Do you notice any difference? Yeah, you sound like you're talking into a bottle. Oh my god, see, it's only for you, Cliff. I don't know. I hear it all the time on my phone too. When you have them on, when you're, did you have them on? When we were live streaming the other day. Where do you? Go? Sorry, trying to fix the audio. <laughs> did you have them on when you were live streaming? When I was live streaming, when did I live stream? When you were at work. I did. Yep, yeah, because I had okay. to. 
Yeah, you sound you sound the same way on my phone. Huh. I wonder I gotta start asking other people because everybody that I've talked to, they sound like they sound fine. That's just I mean, weird. I, I mean they do sound fine. I mean we can hear you, we can understand what you're saying. But you can tell it's not the same. You can yeah, tell it's it's not the I'm same. Not- it, it sounds like you're talking into a glass bottle. But I mean you still hear you. You still sound all right. I'm not i I'm not saying like you sound horrible or nothing. I just, Do I sound sexier with a deeper tone voice? <laughs> I, think, I think you sound better now, in my opinion, oh. than you do with those things on. But okay. but the thing is, you still we still hear you, so it doesn't. I mean, it, it's not really that big of a deal. That That's sure. true. It's just it's, it's really different when you when we're talking like now, and then you switch over. It's like what the you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when you start nervous stuff. It, yeah, so. Yeah, it's all no, good. No, we, we know. Hey, you don't know till you try stuff. I mean, exactly. Yeah. I mean, you're not. Like I said, my my station is is stationary. I I, I can't move it around. I got, I'm, I I I work off a com, you know a computer tower and a microphone that's hooked to a arm, so I can't I, go. I can't like move around the house with it. Right, and I feel like that's my disadvantage because I can go outside to a certain, to, you know, to a certain point that my Wi-Fi connects. But and that's almost to my shed, dude. I can hook up the Xbox and my laptop out there, almost halfway across my yard, just to just to play a game. It's pretty good. Uh, so, but but when you, I don't. I when I first started, I used headphones just to hear. It didn't have a speaker. I had this mic, but I. I understand, you know, they're different devices. Are, they do different things. So you got micro, uh, mic headset microphone on or using a different kind of microphone. Yeah, it's going to sound different. They're not going to sound the same. And I've noticed that StreamYard has different bells and whistles uh, uh, in a way. Say, like, recording a video. I think I think StreamYard has a way of critiquing its volumes and sound produce in in the software that we use, and so I think that interferes with the already made enhancements that we have on microphones and earbuds and stuff, and so they don't quite talk. But when you make a video, you don't sound as roboto, you know, uh, out of your headphone because it's. It's just a right then in their video. You're not, it's not like double tracking your voice almost, you know? Right. Well, yeah. StreamYard, yeah, well, that's a different beast. StreamYard is rosen, raising their prices. Yeah, we got these cool things, I guess. But is it really worth the $25? Right, price? yeah. It is 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 a cool little digital feature on the screen going to be worth the extra price i don't know we're gonna try it for a while see what happens but i did see that they allow you to have a 4k option now so that's that's good i guess i'm okay with 1080 that's all i ever produce is 4k you got to pay the $80 one to use 4K on the stream yard. Oh, maybe that's why it told me I didn't have a camera. Yeah, yeah we can go up to 1080p now. We used to just be 720. Yeah. But they did give us that. They gave us these different boxes, the, the circle or small box or a big box for our camera. Um, so, yeah, um, it, it, it's just... Oh, stuff, just stuff, 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 and I don't know what's <laughs> if it's worth the extra money, but I guess it is worth it because we still get to use it and talk to each other, you know, and talk to you guys. So it doesn't matter to me, but it does matter. But if you understand what I'm saying, it's worth it. Right, right, yeah. Um, we're still. I'm sure right. there's. I'm sure there's other streaming. Uh, sites out there that may be cheaper, but I know how to use StreamYard. I don't necessarily know how to use the other ones. And mm-hmm. I, I'm more comfortable just staying put because I know how to operate this. Mm-hmm. 
than I do any other ones. Not saying I, I can't learn, but it's kind of like why? I mean, why fix something that ain't really broke yet? Yeah, that's true. I, I mean, I get a little worn down, but he's not broke yet. You know, per, pretty much. Yeah. Now I think I go in the. Uh, I think if I do switch, I would stay with StreamYard right now, you know, and then start playing around with the other one until I get the hang of it, then switch everything over. But I don't know. Seems like everything, like wants, everything wants to go high. I mean, hey, you get comfortable paying. I mean, you can still use StreamYard for free, too. Yeah. So, I mean. What, one of the first things that I said in one of our first coffee times, and I only know this from going back and listening to myself, um, is, you know, the only first, the, the, the first of the year comes around. The only thing that you get to look forward to is, hey, we get a whole nother tax bracket this year. We get to up these prices and this and that. And that's all we've seen all year. This price goes up and that price goes up and this goes up and that goes up. It's not just the first of the year no more that turns the times. It's seeming like it's every other day they're just going to keep raising the price on you about everything. <laughs> it, it, it's true. It's true. The economy that we live in now really sucks. Yeah. I mean, they, I don't really see. I mean, we're not going to talk politics. No yeah. politics, but, but uh, the. Uh, is it, it, it all I got to say? The only po political thing I will say right now is whoever gets in office, there is room for a lot of freaking improvement. Yeah, and if they, can't do, it, if they can't do it, yeah, um, they've really failed. So, yeah, and I don't care who wins on that point, I mean, it, it, whoever wins. Right. They need to improve this or their they just it's, it's ultimately their responsibility now. They have to pick up the mess and figure it out, right? Whoever so, it is, right. I brought that because I don't want to get into politics because everybody's believing and I, I'm okay with everybody believing who you know believing Well who, point who, being they no matter who it is, you can have a freaking monkey sitting in that oval office. Literally. You really could. But your prices are not going to go back down. They're never going to go back down. It's going to be this way and plus more, no matter they, how many more years they, you go through. They, fix the cow. They, I've seen they could, but are they? No, I've they're seen. they're getting too much money off of us. Well, I've seen it go down before, cow. So that's not necessarily true. Okay. In my lifetime, I've seen, I mean, I've seen, four years ago, stuff went down. So Okay. That's yeah, it's doable, but but like I said, we're not talking about politics no. on this stuff. No, but that's why that's my point was we can put a monkey in there. You can put a piece I, of paper I, in there. I'm, I'm just saying, whoever gets in there, they need to improve it. I don't mm -hmm. care whose side. Um, but anyway, Austin, so we we talked to, we talked about the inflation. Now we can talk about other things. Have you bought any Lego lately? Have you had time for Lego? Myself? No. Uh, yes and no. Um, I guess I could allude into this a little bit. Uh, I have been modifying my layout a little bit more, and I have some improvements, and I think it might be about time to, to touch up and say, hey, here's my... Here's another update. It's been probably a month, a little over a month. It's been two long, eighty long years. Yeah, yeah, too many years. But I've I've done some real good improvements where I'm at. But I think that, that, that's always a good improvement. Layout. I don't think layout is ever finished. There's always improving. Well, considering I've broken down this. Somewhat of a layout fairgrounds three or four times now. Yeah, my layout's never going to be done. I don't think I, I've got. I do a little bit. Of, I do stuff to it. I add stuff, and but it, layout's never done. Um, I have. I am going to be journeying on another 
Mock Castle. I'm going to try it. But it's not going to be as big as the first one. I tried to Hoosier size the first one, and I think I'm just going to do a smaller one. Hoosier size it? So like 35 floors to it or what? Well, it's, <laughs> it, it's quite big than what I really pictured it to be. And this is the 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 castle you're talking about now, right? The big yeah. one. That you, okay. Yeah. It, I think it covers eight base sure. pl- eight base plates. Oh, geez. Uh, yeah. Four in the front, four in the back. Yeah. Wow. Okay. No, 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 no. It's more like six. I don't know. I mean, it, it's it's well, it's wide. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it goes it's wide. Rectangle. Um. So you trying to say you want to downsize your castle? I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make. I'm not. I'm not gonna tear that down. I'm gonna make a new another. Right. One. I think I'm just gonna keep it on a well, four base four base plate scale. Okay. Um, well, theoretically thinking about it, you know, not every castle, not every kingdom can afford to have a giant ass castle. You know, you, you're gonna have lower end castle. Builders that get the smaller castles, you see. Well, this is true, but I'm just this is that was a lot of money in that one big castle. Yeah, I believe how and much. you kept having to buy parts. Yeah, I seem like every time I turn around, I have to buy parts. Like, good grief, is this ever going to end? <laughs> so, I think the next one is going to be smaller and it's going to be a, it's going to be the same color but different. Nice. Uh, it's still gonna be gray and you know, light gray, dark gray, or blue gray, whatever. But there might be some sand green bricks in there. Nice. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be different, and it's gonna be a a castle for my Wolfpack clan. I, I am introducing the Wolfpack clan into my. I got a bunch of knights. I got ones that I got from this TMC, which there will be a video out on it this Saturday. Nice. I've been waiting for it. Of the nights, and then I got, but my, I got one of three main fa- uh, factions in my layout. And that's, you know, the Falcon Knights, the Lion Knights, and the Wolfpack. And there's other Knight clans in there, but they're just kind of stranglers, journeymen of sorts coming from a far off land, and they stop and in to buy stuff for the road or whatever. Yeah. But uh, it, it, it's a it, – so that's the plan on that end. Uh, I've done a bunch of work to it here lately. I, it's a couple more weeks to be ready for another update. Heck, yeah, that's awesome. Um, I haven't bought no Lego other than – well, other than parts. I haven't bought no sets. I didn't buy none last month. Oh, here's something else I remember. Um, there was a few times, a few different episodes that we had, and uh, you kept up on yourself a little while there in saying that you were only going to buy 10 sets of the year. Well, that kind of went over. The I was going to say, how how has that come along for you, Cliffy, coming uh, into the 10th, 10th month of the year now? Well, we, we kind of went over. <laughs> hey, it was a good goal. Well, uh, I'm going to try to stick to that goal this next year, too. But, I, I, but, but the, the, the amount of sets I have been buying before that has gone down tremendously. Yeah, okay, so you're starting to see the improvement come through. Yeah, I, I mean, it's okay. not... Used to, I'd go out and buy everything that I liked day one. I wanted to buy, I mean, I still do, but I buy the like what I actually want and some I can wait. Like, you know, I, yeah, like the Avengers Tower, I want that set, I just haven't bought it yet. I'm just waiting for the time to do it. Um, but, the, but there's stuff that I have bought just for my layout too, yeah. So, I mean, the sets, you know, I. The boat that I just got done building. Yeah, that's a Harry Potter boat, right? Yeah. Dude, you made that fit in with a castle theme so well. well it looks so good. Did you watch my video? I did. Are you paying attention? Not really, huh? 
<laughs> I said that in the video quite a few times. Yeah, you did. Pay attention. No, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, it it's been it, it's been fun, and that's what I'm mainly working on is my life. Now my live streams, yeah, we're doing the Sanctum Sanctorum right now, but usually, you know, a lot of time after that, it's going to be in mock Wednesdays. I'm going to be working on mocks. Oh, I would love to see this. Um. I'm going to work on my layout. That's what I'm going to do on my live streams. Yeah. I am not. I, I may not offer a setup to do. I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. Because that's another thing. I'd buy sets for my live streams. Okay? Right. Like, I would, you know, I would see. I'd count how many Wednesdays live streams I had, and I'd make sure I bought four sets just to cover my live streams, and they're small. Yeah. And I... That's and that's why I found out I do these bigger builds that take a little bit longer, so I can use a month on one on one big set, or sometimes two or three, like I did with the assembly square. But here and there, I'm not going to be doing. Like I said, I am still going to try to cut down and just buy parts and do my mocks. I got to build a big old cave. So that's going to be fun. You try and put something on top of the cave or just kind of work it in as if it's oh, a... Yeah. Uh, it's, going be, it's going to be all form of dragons. Yeah. Yeah, I remember you saying that, like one coming down off of it and one coming out of it. Yeah. we. That's what I have planned anyway. We'll see how it goes. Um, I, I got to get the boards cut and made for the framework of it so I can build around it. And be enough to support. I that's that's actually smart. I didn't think to consider that. You think RC does that with his wall, with his mountain? I think um, it's weird. If, if not, he uses a lot of brick. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like that's what I was thinking too. Was you know that's that's quite a bit of brick to be doing. But now that you say a, a wooden structure on the inside, it kind of makes sense. You know, Lego went there. With their bigger design stuff, they put a metal frame on the inside as a skeleton. You know, I, I, I think around it. right. I think I'm going like I said. And I got knockoff base plates. So I'm going to crack go to the side of the wood and, and build my rock off of it. We'll just pretend I'll, we didn't hear that. <laughs> I'm not ashamed of it. Um, <laughs> it's not real Lego. It's it's uh, uh, yeah, Lego. right, right. Non Lego put base plate is just going to hold the Lego parts on, and, and that's going to be Lego. I dug, I went out and and I went out and uh, separated all my slopes and anything I could use for rock work out of my parts. Hopefully, and I got some I need to put in an order order on. To, I, I just see you. Hot gluing a bunch of plates to a to a two by four lumber. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do none of that. They're base plates. They're they're thirty two by thirty two base plates. I'm just going to cut them down and glue them on top and on the side. With something for a brick to hang off of, you know. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be okay. I promise you. No Lego was hurt. Will be hurt during this process. This time, <laughs> yeah, I'll be. I gotta build that cave. We gotta build that mock castle. So I, I, I think my future live streams are going to be mocking. Stuff. They're going to be very gray. It seems like get it <laughs> dark, dark and gray. <laughs> uh, but it's going to be fun. I swear, it's going to be fun. Come hang out. Um, but yeah, uh, other than that, I ain't got. I mean. I still have Lego sets there in my backlog, but I was gonna say, do you still have a backlog that, that you don't build yet? Yeah, I, I have. I have a backlog, but they're, they're probably not gonna be built for a while. I got rid of my backlog. The only thing that is sealed up and not built yet is uh, Bulbasaur. <laughs> Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. I got about 40 sets 
40 sealed sets. Yeah. You got bigger backlog than I thought you had. <laughs> that's not even you're, that's you're not even saying. That's not, even, that's not even counting the uh, Christmas sets. I, I hear out of your mouth a lot something about not having Lego to mess with or whatever. And you're sitting here with a backlog. <laughs> well, the problem, okay, the problem is I'm running out of room on my shelves. Good point. And, and there's stuff that probably never going to be built because I either go down the city. Oh, okay, yeah. And, and, and or you got a spot for some of the, probably Some of them are probably going to end up being a giveaway during the, that November stream that I'm going to be, I'm planning on doing. Nice. So, uh, I, I got some Marvel sets down there that I doubt I'll ever build. So, I am planning on opening an eBay store up, so I may be putting them on eBay and, and get rid of and, and selling them. You know, I've heard that a lot throughout these videos this past know, year. I've been telling my bone on I've been dragging tail on it. A lot of it is, is I wanted my issue is it I I gotta have I gotta have a living. Yeah. And and if I'm making money, I can only make a certain amount of money. Mm -hmm. So that's why I've been kind of thinking about not doing it and then doing it. Because I don't want to make too much money then it takes out of my. It's not like it's a lifetime of supply of money coming in that they're going to cut you and good. You know, it's. Well, uh, they, they, they will cut you if you make enough. It doesn't matter. It well, that's what I mean. It's a fluctuation. You you make um, you make more than you did one month, and then the next yeah. month you're back down. Well, you, know? you, you think with government it takes a lot of paperwork, and I don't like paperwork. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So uh, if I can avoid it, I do at all cost. True. Uh, so, anyway, we'll figure out what we're going to do then. It may be giveaways. It may be, I may end up either building it and tearing down, putting it in a Ziploc bag and put them in a bin. Yeah. But at least my set will be together, not going to be just for parts like the Batmobile. God bless its soul. Wow. I got a new one to mess with. Will, Will told me the other day, he's like, hey, are those windshields for that specific one? I could use those on some. And I'm thinking the same thing, Will. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I could use that part. <laughs> God. <laughs> you know, my question is, why don't you just wait till they get on BrakeLink and buy them off of BrakeLink instead of buy, paying $150 for the two windshields you get? Because you get the satisfaction of two things out of the one thing. Both the satisfaction of building and rebuilding that set that you just bought for three, dollars $400 or whatever it's going to be. Uh, and then you also get to rebuild from that. Or <laughs> if you don't want to devalue it, uh, then you just suck it up and and deal with your mantelpiece, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm a I'm a mock builder. I get my value every way I can. Well, yeah. I'll I'll throw the car across the yard a few times before I before I you know. <laughs> I get it. I don't know, man. I, I, I don't understand why it's just the, you know, the beauty and the, the eye of the beholder. It's the way you, you value things, you know. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. That Batmobile probably going to haunt your dreams when they're in years when the thing's worth over a thousand dollars and you you got it in parts in a everywhere. I my so we gave the Disney castle to my daughter, so that meaning that I can't up and get rid of it anytime, you know. Mm -hmm. And so that was the agreement in our split up in our divorce was she gets that, and so. I told my I told my ex about the value on it with the figures and whatnot, and she's like, "Oh, well, I'll gladly take it back in no time." I'm like, "Huh?" But the deal was, we don't get to do that. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. the The value in some of the stuff I have haunts me. <laughs> and, uh, and it sounds like to me you haven't learned your lesson, Cal. 
Yeah, well, I got that big old pirate ship. The only pirate ship I still have built. Oh. Silent Mary. Yeah. For, for now, it's built uh, until we have to figure out a shipping process. But <laughs> that's about the only thing of value that I know I have still in one piece. <laughs> I can understand it was a twenty, thirty dollar set that you tore down for parts. I get that, <laughs> man. I can understand with Star Wars tearing them down for parts, but the eighty nine Batmobile is a set that you probably don't want. You should keep together. I was young and dumb and had a very creative mind. You said I'm learning. Yeah. Now you want to buy this other Batmobile and do the same thing. Yeah, that's all right. That's out of spite because people give me so much crap over the years about it. <laughs> and they're going to keep giving me crap. <laughs> yeah, the more I keep doing it, the more crap I'm going to get for it. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh. Now, Cal, I, 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 I've done it. I've got sets that I tore down and just threw in my parts because I wasn't wanting to keep it. And it, but, but that's okay with Star Wars. But they, they weren't they weren't like you know I didn't pay but forty dollars for it or something. Right. It wasn't a, a Christmas present that someone spent the total amount of a couple hundred bucks to get you. Yeah. That's one thing I always told myself. If somebody took their time and money, ordered me a set. I got the cool. original R two D two and I'm sure my dad pretty mad about it still. For all these years, but yeah. when somebody sends me a set, that thing will be forever built and put in my collection. I won't touch it. I'll keep it clean, but I'm not going to tear it down for parts or nothing like that. It will be built. It'll stay built. Especially if somebody took their time and hard-earned money to send me something. That that just well. But when you get older, you start to realize things. You start to learn new things. I don't know. I, I probably won't budge off that, but I won't. Uh, I don't know, Gal. You surprise me sometimes. <laughs> but you on your toes. Do what? Well, I said keeping you on your toes. Yep. Yeah, well, you're doing that. What do you uh? What do you got planned for this week before we? Close her down. Well, we got. I got birthday party for my daughter. I gotta go. We gotta do. We gotta. We gotta go Jonesboro. Well, that's in the biggest town around me, and it's an hour and a half away. But we go there. I gotta get my medicine, and then my daughter wants to go to uh, Barnes and Noble and get herself a book. Hey, there's Lego there. I don't mm -hmm. know. But <laughs> this is for her, not me. Oh, um, oh, that's true. <laughs> we want to look at a couple books, and then we want to go out to eat. Then we go. We we'll come home. It probably be late afternoon before we get home. Mm -hmm. Then we got to turn around, and my dreadful well, my mother in law <laughs> is coming over, and we're going to have a dinner and cake and ice cream and. Stuff for that's so awesome. So, so my my day is, on that day is 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 full. But I I went and I I got all my videos done for this week already. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to just build on my layout and enjoy the week. Do my live streams on Wednesday night, and and just kind of enjoy life this week. Nice. I've, I've been watching Stephen King's. Uh, Scary movies all on the chances I get. Yeah, my, daughter, my daughter fell in love with Stephen King, which is awesome. We finally got something in common. So we've been watching Stephen King movies, and that's what books she wants. She wants to go get a, a Stephen King book. So she yeah, enjoys yeah. reading, so she's she's wanting to do that. So I think that's cool. And that's what we're going to do. I may be watching more of them this week. What you guys see? Yeah. That's awesome. We watched Cujo. Cujo. The other day. It, 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 yeah, it was good. Rose Red, Thinner, Needful Things, Carrie. Uh, 
some come sometimes they come back and all Stephen King movies and they've been pretty interesting. Nice. First, uh, sometimes they come back I've never seen before, so that was my first time watching that. That was that was pretty cool. What about you? What do you got playing this week? Work? Yeah, that's all I ever do is work, work, work. <laughs> um, what is this week? It's the first week of November. Or I'm sorry, October. Um, yeah, it's it's actually we're coming up into our last final weeks of mowing, and into cleanup season, meaning blowing out all the bushes and and beds and the yard and just picking up all the leaves and crap that. I hate this time of year. I hate fall and spring cleanups because, especially the this time of year, you're racing to beat winter. You're you you got hundreds of houses that you got to do a week, and you're trying to get everybody done within the month the, to month and a half before winter comes. Like mm-hmm. it's my yeah, it's my most busiest time of year, and I hate it. You get so dirty and dusty because you got dust and dirt and everything flying at you, and I just hate being grody. Right. Uh, Well, we do. We do want to thank everybody for listening to us, and don't forget Sunday night, clicking and breaking eight o'clock central. Woo! -woo. We'll be there. We'll be there. We have a special guest, JDP Bills, will be on with us. That's right. So make sure you come hang out with us and, and, and get to know him. That's going to be fun. So, yeah, we still got a couple minutes. I just wanted to throw that out there. Don't forget the suggestion box. You got ideas, make sure you put it in the comments of what you would like for us to talk about, either on this podcast or on Clicking and Breaking. Um, but, yeah, uh, stay tuned. We got some interesting stuff coming up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, so Cal, Mm -hmm. what have you learned by listening to all these podcasts? Um, well, it's, it's, uh, given me the confidence to sit here and be able to feel like we know what we're doing and be able to do this because. There's been a few times in there that I have not had the confidence and sat here for an hour. You know what I mean? Like, we, we've definitely come a long way. We can do this podcast recorded or, or live. Either way, we've we've got it, you know. Okay. Well, at first, that wasn't, that wasn't who I am. I don't like, you know... Pulling it out of my butt. I, I need to have a structure if, I, if I'm not doing it live, you know, if I don't have someone else there to rely on, you know. Well, you had me to rely on, and, and we're not and going all, but we're just talking like we're supposed to. And we're now 34 consecutive weeks into this. I know, I know. You realize that we're only less than 20 weeks away from end of the year? Man, ain't that crazy? Less than like that's yeah that's fifty two weeks in a year I might be wrong on that but we're pretty dang close right pretty so. darn close I'm excited for it I have learned that we do we can do this and and we we have a good growing we we've taken this baby and we've nurtured it and it is now starting to grow so right right right. Mm-hmm. We here. We gonna be here until you ain't here. <laughs> but we're, we're gonna be a year, man. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do next year? We gotta come up with something. Oh, and something else uh, that was brought up first a year that we haven't really uh, chimed into much is the CB Awards. <laughs> oh yeah, we, yeah. We, uh, that may be a next year project. Yeah, I mean, it gives us something to look forward to and plan for. So, yeah, there you go, guys. We want to thank everybody for showing up today, and we will be talking about the CB Awards in the future time. Yeah. Okay. You got any last words? Moo. Have a good day. Hi, right, guys. Keep clicking and breaking. See you Sunday night. Mm-hmm.